Mary Jo. Mary Jo. DK. Melba. DK Ben Mom. Tanners. Tanners. Roger. Jeanette. Nathan Henry. Mike Sullivan.
I know you're in here. Carol Park. Ralph and Merrill. Don Smith. Okay, let's get this thing going. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Good, good. Excellent, excellent. We'll give it another minute here or so. We've got, about, um, let's see here. We have almost 40 people right now joining us this morning. So we got a wonderful audience. I hope everybody had a good night's sleep and are ready to uh, learn something about Zoom today. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My audio on. Hello. Uh, Who's speaking? Is that Daryl? I am too. Is I, am I on? Daryl, you are on. I'm going to go ahead and mute you till we get started, though. Okay. But welcome this morning. Glad to have you. Oh man, passed the first test then, right? Yes, you did. We have a we have a big 
crowd this morning. So this is fantastic. I I did not expect this many uh, wonderful, smiling faced, gorgeous looking people to join me today. So thank you very much. Right now we're over 40, 40 attendees. That is terrific. Obviously everybody uh, wants to know about Zoom because that seems to be the way of the world now, doesn't it? I'm gonna take a quick peek at our gallery view. See all these wonderful faces. That's, uh, I can see a lot of people are camera shy out there. Why is that? We want to see everybody and we just, uh, I see Mr. Kevin Wergler, he's here. Welcome, Kevin. Theatis McKissick, how are you, Theatis? I got to unmute. Mute. I'm good, Jim. How you doing? How are you? I am doing wonderful. This is a... Uh, we are excited to be here and walking into the new year. And uh, the best thing about it is we're learning something new today, which is uh, makes our brain stronger and gives us a, a lot more uh, flexibility in our- oh, There I am, there I am, right, I'm right there. You're All right, we got one more person coming in. Oh, we got a couple more coming in. I hope you don't mind, but I have you all muted on the way in just because we have such a large crowd and uh, there's a lot of folks there. So we need to be kind to each other because I know there's always a lot of background noise and you know, dogs barking and neighbors still shooting off fireworks from the four or from uh, New Year's Eve and all kinds of things going on. So, terrific. Well, we're, I'm showing 935. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, I've got everybody on mute for the time being. I'm going to do a little introduction and I'm going to show you what we're going to do today is uh, we're gonna teach you how to Zoom. It's gonna be kind of a rudimentary uh, training to start with. Zoom can be as, uh, as, much, as complicated and as much fun as you want it to be, or it can be as simple as just talking to somebody face-to-face. -face. So we're gonna kind of do a, uh, a 50 foot level on what Zoom is. I'm, I got a little PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna go through it quickly because I'm gonna save the good stuff till the end when we can go live and I can kind of show you some of these fun things we could be doing. So you could follow me on my screen and then you could all kind of practice on your own. So um, I'm, my name is Jay Lickus. I'm the marketing coordinator with Benavia. And I'm sure most of you are already accustomed to uh, getting my emails and seeing my flyers and all my social media out there. I see a lot of familiar faces, so thank you for joining. Um, this is the very first educational series event of 2021. And what a great way to start is to, to learn about Zoom because my gut feeling is we're gonna be on Zoom for quite a long time. It's, uh, it's the way of the world and the contact level. Um, and um, it's a simple tool to use and it's actually quite nice. You can use it for educational purposes like we're doing today. I've used it to be in contact with my family over the holidays. Uh, we share photos, we share videos, uh, we've played bingo, we've played trivia games. Uh, the, uh, you know, an unlimited amount of things that you can do on Zoom. So it's a great platform to use. Hopefully you all have a, a pad and a paper and a pen ready to go to take some notes. 
I'll do a little uh, um, laundry here. Uh, this is I'm, I'm expecting this to be an interactive uh, workshop. So especially at the end when we're starting to look at things live, um, you can ask questions and such. But for the start during the presentation, I will go through that to kind of give you an idea of what Zoom is and wh what you can do with it. And then I will stop periodically for questions. With so many people on here, we've got, uh, looks like 45 participants. So we don't want everybody talking over each other or, or interrupting. So just be kind to everybody. That's our, 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 uh, our motto for 2021. So write down your questions if you want, and um, you can ask them when I, when I stop for questions. Um, just one point of uh, note for everybody that's very important. We've got 45 people on this call right now, and I can guarantee you that 90% of us are on this call in a different way. I happen to be on a, an ancient laptop that I've had for almost 10 years. So it just proves that technology um, will catch up if you allow it to. But I'm sure there's folks on there on their you know nice new PCs on their desk. Uh, folks are on their iPhones or on their iPads. Um, what else is out there? All kinds of little devices you can use to go live and talk to each other. Um, what I'm talking about today is going to be predominantly for the PC version, but it's very, very similar to everything else. So if you happen to have an Apple system, like an iPhone or an iPad, if I tell you there's a button in the lower left corner that says mute, it just might be in the upper right hand corner. It kind of depends on your operating system. So bear with me for that. It may be just a little bit different. Okay, how does that sound? Well, let's throw up the presentation here. Well, first I'm gonna unmute everybody. See if I can do that. But you can unmute yourself if you have any questions to start with. Does everybody know how to unmute? Sounds like it. I hear a lot of noise all of a sudden. Down here. Fantastic. Yep, everybody's here. Everybody's ready to go. So let me throw up the uh, the PowerPoint presentation, give you a quick overview of what Zoom is. I know you you can't wait to start seeing this. All right, everybody seeing that? No, the PowerPoint's not up. PowerPoint's not up yet. Okay, it may, may take a bit. Oh, I got to share my screen, don't I? There's the first thing you can do is share your screen. <laughs> All right. How do you Zoom from start to finish? That's why we're here today. Oh, we got somebody in the room again, okay? Here's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about Zoom and the setup. That's pretty simple. Um, you folks probably all received a direct link I'm signed up for. in an email. Danny. <laughs> See if I can get everybody to mute again. Okay, perfect, thank you. So you received an email and it had a direct link in it that brought you to this meeting. That is the easiest way to get on Zoom. And it doesn't matter whether you have a paid account or a, a free account, which is very nice. Um, that's, that's probably the easiest and the most um, functional way to get on Zoom. We'll talk about the landing page when you get on Zoom and what you see if you don't come directly to a meeting. We'll talk about certain settings on your account. Um, then we'll talk about opening meetings, joining meetings, hosting meetings. And then if you get really good at it, scheduling your own meetings and some of the settings involved with that. When we're finished with this presentation part of it, the first probably 30 minutes, we'll go live inside the meeting. We'll take a look at the toolbars, how you can change your name, different reactions you can use, uh, video and audio settings, backgrounds, all that fun stuff. So we'll kind of do that live so you have an idea of what that is. So Zoom, what is Zoom? Zoom is for, in simplest terms, this is Star Trek, folks. This is the little 
video phone that Ka Captain Kirk uses when he talks to uh, the people up on the Enterprise. Um, we're hard to believe technology has gotten this far, but it has. Um, it, it's, a, it's a video chat and conferencing program. It's a program you download to your computer and you can use it anytime you want and you can use it with anybody you want. What's interesting, I don't know if anybody ever heard of the, uh, the uh, an acronym VoIP or Voice Over Internet Protocol. That just means you can talk like you're on the phone, but see people. You can see their pictures live. And that in the simplest terms is what Zoom does. It allows you to talk to people while seeing them as well. What an amazing tool, I love it. You can instant message people with it. You can have fun with backgrounds and play games like I said. If you're working from a, a, a business standpoint, standpoint, you can share screens, do collaborative work together. You can do flow charts and, and all kinds of Excel spreadsheets live right on the screen and work on those together. If you wanna have fun, you can basically just host your own videos. Just a quick overview, it does cost to be on Zoom, but you can get a free version. They call it the basic version. So you can just download it onto your system. Hopefully you all did that to get here today. And that's fantastic. Anytime you wanna do a meeting, you get 40 minutes of free time. And if you wanna write this down, I'm gonna give you your first hint of the day. If you get to your 40 minutes, there'll be a little time clock in the corner of your uh, screen when you're having your meeting. And if it gets down real close to like a minute or so left in your meeting, just tell everybody when the meeting ends, because it'll end automatically, just go back to your original email with the original link, click on that, voila, you got a brand new meeting in 40 more minutes. So you basically can go as long as you want. It's kind of like uh, flipping over a vinyl record album. You can just keep going. So, But if you happen to purchase a program with Zoom, um, there, it doesn't have a time limit. You can have up to 100 participants or more on your Zoom meeting. I don't know why you would want that, but some businesses obviously do that. And you can hold meetings up to 30 hours. So if you want to do a marathon meeting or learn about Zoom for a day and a half, you can do that with the, uh, with the regular plan. And that's the plan I work off of right now. Um, I have a plan for myself. <laughs> A lot of interviews with family and friends. I also have a, a business plan for work and then several other organizations. I, I uh, am part of like um, Alliance of Business Community in Sun City West or AARP. So um, if you know somebody that's already paying for it, you could usually use it. So excellent. Sounds like somebody's un, uh, unmuted. If you could go ahead and mute. So we can keep the background. Basically, you only need three things with Zoom. You need some sort of device. So you've got your device, whether it's a laptop, iPad, you know, your PC on your desk with a camera. Your camera can be built in. I have a built-in camera on my laptop, but because when I'm on Zoom, it takes up bandwidth, I have a additional camera on top which is very succinct, it's an expensive one, so you can actually see me very clearly. If I was using my laptop camera, it'd be very fuzzy because it's not strong enough, my uh, laptop's not strong enough to do everything. So um, you need a microphone, which is usually built right into your system as well. And um, you need speakers to hear me. This wonderful, uh, this wonderful voice, people say I have a, the voice for television and the face for radio. So, there's your landing page when you first get to Zoom. If you're not following a link to a meeting and you just go to the website zoom.us, this is where you'll land. It's called their, their opening page or landing page. And I got a couple of things circled on there. One of them on the top is join a meeting, host a meeting, or sign in. So obviously sign in if you have an account. If you want a free account, you see the orange bar right there. You can sign in for free and open up your own account. Or if you already have an account, you can host a meeting or join a meeting. So we'll touch on those in a little bit here. Or if this training does absolutely positively nothing for you and you don't understand a word I'm saying, if you look at the bottom there, 
Zoom itself will make their learning easy. They have so many different classes. They have practice Zoom meetings you can get on, anything you would like to learn about Zoom. You just register with them and they have a whole plethora of different options you can use to, uh, to get on Zoom and learn all about it. So it's actually very simple. So let's talk about creating a Zoom account. All right, so you click on Zoom. That's the easiest way to do it. You use your email address. Everybody has an email address. We made you send us an email address when you signed up for this. Or you can sign up using what's called single sign-on. Many of you already work in Google or you work on Facebook or Snapchat or one of those other social media platforms and you've saved information in the background. As long as they have that and you don't wanna open an account, you can actually just tell them, you click on a little icon when you sign in and say, just sign me up using my Facebook account. The system in the background will pull that information, make a quick account for you. It's a temporary account so you can attend a meeting when you're done with the meeting, your information's gone, which is really, really nice. So it's very secure. Overall, Zoom is 99.9% .9 very secure. Um, very few people have problems with it. I know way back in the day when we first started using it, people were talking about horror stories and things like that. But I've been on 500 plus Zoom meetings since March of last year, and I have never had an issue. So, but overall, Best thing to do is sign up, get a free account, use your email address so you can use it anytime you want in any way you want. If you're using a mobile phone, it's virtually the same thing, but you have to download the app on your phone. So you go into your Play Store or your App Store for Apple and you just look for Zoom, the app, download that onto your, uh, your phone itself and then the instructions are exactly the same as it was if you were on your own PC. So we get in there and let's say you got an account. There's settings you can make ahead of time for your meetings and how you wanna be seen on Zoom. So if you see this screen, I've got a nice little picture there of myself. You can add that, change that to whatever you want. It tells you all your information, gives you an account number, personal meeting ID. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then whatever type of uh, format you need for your meetings, where you're from, Arizona, um, what's the date format you want to use in the time format. And this goes even deeper, but I just wanted to give you a quick look at that because uh, it's, it's, you know, it can get very extensive if you want the type of settings you want for your meetings. One thing to remember is if you're Zooming with family and they're across country, make sure you put in your time zone as Arizona. That way, you know, if you have an eight o'clock meeting, it may be nine o'clock for somebody down in Texas or in the Midwest, but it'll tell them the right time to get on. So we get in there, we got Zoom. We wanna launch a meeting, we wanna open Zoom. How easy can it get? You just punch, punch a button, it's called launching Zoom. Okay, um, I'm gonna step back a little bit and talk to you about the meeting link. I said, I'd touch you about the, the password when you're doing, if you go back to your settings like this, and I talked about having a, uh, a password for your meeting. When I sent you that link, I set it up in these account settings to embed the password in your link. So you don't have to worry about that. Once you click the link, it automatically has the password on there. So you open Zoom, you join. If you don't have um, that link, if somebody sends it to you without the link in there, you get a meeting ID number. It's about eight to 10 digits. You paste that in the box right down here. It says join a meeting, and then it'll take you into the meeting. You sign in, name and number, or remember I told you about the single sign in? You can click on one of these icons on the bottom and it'll fill your information in for you. So very, very simple, very intuitive. Um, you know what, I'll stop here and see if anybody's got any questions yet, because I know that's a lot right out of the bat. Hello, I have one. Certainly, go ahead. I opened the account for myself. My wife uses the same computer and she, 
she does Zooms, but she my name comes up on the account. Mm -hmm. How do I get her name on it also, or do I set up another account? Well, you could say, is it a free account? Yes, at the time, yeah. Okay, so you, you can set up a free account under her name, or, and we'll talk about this when we, we start doing some live stuff, but you see your face on the screen and it has your name written in there? I've got the, the PowerPoint on here. Okay. Oh, oh you're, so you're but not looking at talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. You're not looking. Well, you have a nameplate on your face. Like right. mine says Benavia right now, but you could be Edward Sprafkin or Myra Thielman. It'll say it on there. You can go in and change that at any time. And I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. That way, if it kicks in with your wife's name on there, you can go in and change it as the meeting begins. You can write anything you want on there. Gotcha. Perfect. Thanks. You betcha. Anything else? All right. We talk about some of the settings and such. Uh, here's a quick, oh, sorry. Here's a quick overview of some of the general settings when you get to the meeting, okay? Um, you can see by the things that I have clicked that these are probably the ones that are most important to you. Um, obviously, I don't want Zoom starting every get on Windows. That would be kind of annoying. I, don't, I use Zoom a lot, but I don't use it that much. Um, I don't use dual monitors at home. Like I said, I'm on a laptop. At work, I have two different monitors for work. That makes it very easy. If you've got that kind of setup at home, you can do that. You can have the folks on one monitor that are in the call and you can have a presentation on the other one. So it's very, very simple to use. Um, I like to be on full screen when I first get in. I have bad eyesight and glasses. So I'm always uh, trying to make things easiest on myself. Um, automatically copy the invite link once the meeting starts because sometimes people show up late or they, they'll they text me on my phone and say, I wanna get in your meeting. That way you can shoot that invite to them right in the meeting if you want. Always show meeting controls. Um, when I'm leaving the meeting, I wanna confirm that I'm leaving the meeting. I don't wanna leave anybody hanging. And then a little reminder that the meeting's gonna start. Unfortunately, it's only the farthest you can go is 15 minutes ahead of time for reminders. I would like an hour ahead of time to get ready, but um, 15 minutes is a good little reminder that you've got a meeting come up. So these are just a few of the uh, different settings you can have that are general when you are setting up a meeting or you have an account with Zoom. Um, if you look down below the thumbs up, uh, we'll talk about reactions towards the end of this uh, call, this workshop, and you'll see thumbs up can match you can match your uh, skin tone to how you want your thumbs up to be. If you've got a, a tan, you know, you can put that on there. If you haven't been out in the sun for a while, you can. Okay, you get to the meeting and you got your account and you're ready to roll. You can go to a new meeting icon. You can join an existing meeting. There's a couple. And there's many, many times you can share a screen. So it's very simple. So here's your, you're going to go ahead and schedule a meeting. You've gotten that far in advance and you know what you're doing. So you write in what your meeting name is. If you want to put a short description, like today's was how to Zoom. And I put a little short blurb in there. Put your date, how long it's going to run, your time. And once again, it's a drop down menu where you can add all kinds of different um, different um, aspects of your meeting that you want, different settings, so you can control the meeting the way you want. Quick tip, I already talked about this. Um, the meeting password, they call that Zoom bombing. When somebody joins a Zoom meeting, like I said, 500 meetings and I've yet to be Zoom bombed. But um, if you're gonna send it out and somebody who doesn't have um, the ability to click on the link, you have to use the password to get in. That's the security level. So I let it auto set on my own. I don't choose a particular password or anything. I let Zoom do that for me. But once again, if you're sending out a link to everybody, that's embedded in the link, which is really nice. You're hosting a meeting. How do you want to host it? Video on? 
the video or their screen only. 99% um, of the time you want your video on so folks can see you. Sometimes there's folks on here that are busy eating breakfast or, you know, they haven't got out of their pajamas yet. They don't want their video on so they can still hear everything. They can still see the presentation, but we just can't see them. So just remember when you click on host a meeting, that meeting starts instantly. It's not a meeting you set up in advance. It's a meeting you're gonna start now and then you can invite your, you know, say you just wanna call your brother or your sister across country. You can start the meeting, then instantly send them an invite right from inside. So it's a great um, when, you, when you have a Zoom account, this is kind of small print, but the, the general aspect here is there are tons of different settings you can use when setting up meetings. So there's security options. I had everybody in a waiting room ahead of time. That way people aren't bouncing in one at a time, one at a time. I can let everybody in at once. Uh, there's passcode options. I'll show you, there's page number two. You can have authentic authentication um, uh, aspects built in and all kinds of different options involved. The settings go down about 10 or 12 pages. So if you are gonna host your own meeting, you have your own account, go through that very diligently and set up your meetings how you want. That way you won't have any issues when you're live. So you don't need to see all those, just know that they're there. You'll see that when you're setting up your meetings. Okay, we've gone through a lot so far. This is a screenshot of me during Christmas, I guess. I see all the Christmas decorations in the background. But I, the reason I took this screenshot was to show you the toolbar at the bottom. And that's what we're gonna be talking about next. Um, I'll open it up for questions before we go live, but on the bottom, these are your most important tools. So you have your microphone, your video, the host will have security, and the host will also have record and support, I think. Those probably won't be on your basic account, but you can see who the participants are, you can chat, and you can do reactions, and those are a lot of fun. So. We're gonna go ahead and talk about those a little bit and then go live. Uh, like I said, audio settings in the mute. So you see the microphone over there. If you wanna mute yourself, you can do that. You can test your microphone. Um, they have a little system set up where you can click on test the speaker and it lets you know how loud your speaker it is. It plays a little classical um, music for you. And then you can test your microphone. So you click on it and you say testing one, two, three, and it plays it back to you. Very nice uh, aspect to uh, setting your uh, Zoom meetings up. Suppressing background noise, I always recommend being on auto. That way, if you have dogs barking or car doors or beeping in the background, it helps to keep that down to a minimum. So as you can see, again, there's all kinds of general video, background filters, all kinds of different settings once you're inside a meeting. Second most important button is your video. So if you click on the up arrow that's next to the video camera, it'll take you into this screen. And once again, all kinds of different settings for your video. Um, you can check your camera, which one you use. Mine happens to be a Logitech camera, C270. Um, you can look at your different ratios. Original ratio is the size of your picture on the screen or the size of the presentation on the screen. You can go high definition if your system will uh, handle that. Let's say you want to mirror your image. You click on that, it shoots you from the right side or from the left side. So you'll actually see whatever side of your face you think you're more handsome or more beautiful in, you <laughs> that side to the general public, which is really cool. If you're having a bad morning, you can actually touch up your appearance by using the slider bar. It'll make your skin tone a little deeper, a little lighter make your background a little clearer, things like that. And if you're in a darker room, if your meeting's at night, you can actually adjust for the light in your, uh, your office or whatever room you're in, which is very nice. And then displaying participant names on their video. I really like to do that because I like to know who's on, on the meeting with me. So um, one of the fun things we'll touch about when we go live here in a minute or two is the backgrounds. Um, you can see I believe I'm in a giant library right now. Um, that's not my office. That's a background. I have a, a very simple office that I work out of at home. 
but you can choose from all kinds of different downloads. And you see the little um, X box that I have circled there. We'll touch on that in a little bit when we're live, but that allows you to download pictures from your system out of your files, things you have saved, background, party pictures, office pictures, maybe just logos like I have. You see a Benavia logo, a Rotary logo, things like that. Um, you can put those in your background so people will see that behind your face. Or you can choose none, which just removes your video picture and it's just a black screen with your name, whatever is on there. So, all right, so we'll open it up for questions again. Any questions? Mute yourself if you like. Oh, I didn't do that good of a job. That was a lot of information. There's got to be some questions out there. Go ahead and raise your hand. Hello? Yes. yes. Is that yeah. Jennifer? Yes. Jennifer, um, help when, you. You, when you sign into a... Uh, when you want to set up your meeting, do you go to zoom.us and set it up from there? Is that where you had the, when you went to the screen where you were setting it up, the time zone, the parties involved? What's the site? Is it zoom.us? That's it. Exactly. Zoom.us. So www.zoom.us. Once you, once you download the program, you can ask it when you're, when you're installing it on your own system to um, put an icon on your uh, opening page, your window. So you can have that icon and just click on that and that will automatically take you there as well. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure that was, it was zoom.us that we were to go into. The, um, the other question I had is I keep getting this signal that says network bandwidth is low. Yes, that, that just means that the computer you're using Believe it or not, Zoom and having all these pictures in one place, if you've got the gallery view up right now and you see all 50 people on this call, plus my PowerPoint and all the phone, the, 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 the VoIP aspect of it takes up a lot of bandwidth. So that means your computer is telling you you're pretty close to the edge. You might get a little distortion. At the most, what it'll do, it'll freeze you for seconds and then restart. Okay. All right. Thank you. I get that all the time. I wasn't sure on that. I, I have a question. Some um, Miss Reed. Can you hear me? Can you hear loud and clear. Okay, I've had problems with um, people hearing me on these on these calls, and I have a, a Samsung Chromebook, which is not a very powerful computer. But you can hear me okay. Perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Everybody else, can you hear okay? Yes. Yeah. Looks like it. That's terrific. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share live at this point. So let me close down my. Uh, I'm going to, you're going to. Can you can you folks see what I'm doing right now in the background? Yes. You can. Okay. No. All right. I'm going to. Okay. Can't can't minimize. So I'm going to go ahead and share screen. Oh, we got somebody in the chat room. Is anybody unmuted other than the presenter? Nope, I had everybody, Osaf had asked, is everybody, anybody unmuted other than the presenter? And only, you can unmute yourself. And I will show you folks how to do that here very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I'm gonna share this. Okay, now you'll be able to see my screen. And hopefully it'll come up, you'll see what you call the uh, gallery view of all the members on this screen. Is that right? Give me a hands up or a thumbs up if some of you see that. Perfect. Okay. We have so many folks on there. I can scroll over and there's a second screen with even some more folks. So you can scroll back and forth and see how many folks are on there and who you're talking to. You see the participant list on the side here. So this is everybody that's on the call right now which is very nice. We talked about, um, Osof talked about muting. Okay, there's two ways. If you go to your picture screen, you see I'm outlined in yellow. And right next to it, there's an icon that says mute. Oh yeah, okay. Or 
I'm back again. So you can mute and unmute yourself there, or you can go down to the bottom screen as well and you see the mute button in the lower left corner. And you can also mute yourself there or unmute. And if you're really savvy and you just wanna have a comment and you're on mute, you can press down your space bar and then give it about two or three seconds. You are temporarily unmuted. So as long as you hold down your space bar, you can talk. When you let go of your space bar, then you're muted again. So it's very nice if you've got a lot of people getting involved in a project or something, you can all talk to each other that way. So, all right, there's a couple of things um, we talked about. Let's stop for questions again real quick. Jay, yes. um, this is Carol Collins. Since you started screen sharing, I've noticed there's a really big delay between audio and video. Do you see that as well, or is it just me? I, I do not. I'm pretty oh, okay. right now. Again, that could be an I, issue. OK. My, uh, my face is frozen in time. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just my computer? Yes. And, and just see it too. so you know, I can see you perfectly and you're moving normally. So that seems to be working. Yep. Um, let's say you don't want your picture on there. You know, you might be tired of looking at me right now. If you go down to the bottom here where it says stop video and click on that, it'll just go to the black screen. Normally with your name, I went in there and just put the Benavia logo so everybody would know it's still me. So if you have to step away or you, you know, you've got a call or you're eating breakfast or something, you could always remove your picture so that people can see um, or don't have to see what you're doing, which is very nice. Uh, one of the nice things I wanna talk about here, it's simple and fun. Everybody scroll over the bottom here. You see the reactions button? If you click on that and you have the newest update from Zoom, and I'll, I'll let you know about that, they update periodically, probably every two to three weeks. Many times when they do a critical update or something that's important to their programming system, they will send you an email saying it's time to update. Otherwise, when you're in Zoom on zoom.us and you'll see tech help, click on that every so often and you'll scroll down and it'll say updates or you know new things needed. And right now, I think 0.7, Zoom 0.7 is uh, what we're on, but they added a bunch of new icons. We used to have just a hand clap and the thumbs up, and now they added all these new things. So when you get the updates, you get more fun things to play with. And you'll see on the backgrounds and some other uh, beta stuff they're doing when we talk about our videos. So, Let's just say you have a question or something. You click on, I use the clap hand. That comes up in your screen and it stays there for about 10 seconds. Carol, I just saw you give me a thumbs up. That was fantastic. Um, so you can play with this while we're live and uh, click on your reactions. You can give me a thumbs up if you, you got everything that's going smooth here. I see a couple thumbs up coming up here. Let's go to picture two. I don't have reactions. Uh, I bet you're on some sort of Apple system. No, uh, Chromebook. Chrome, Apple, oh, Chromebook, okay. Chrome. Um, it might be a little different. Uh, next, you don't have reactions. Do you have a button that has uh, three dots on it called more possibility? I don't see it. It may be here, I don't see it. Uh, sometimes it's a little different. Sometimes it's on the top as well. So, but the reaction is just a fun, quick way to uh, let people know what, you know, you hear them or if you're voting on it, if you're in a meeting and you need to vote on something, everybody can give a thumbs up. Marty, you're crying. It's either too funny or <laughs> I love it. So. Okay. Oh, interesting. Starting to catch on. That's good. Um. So that's a simple way of doing things. Um, let's go over to our video button. Okay, and if you click on the up arrow, I'm gonna click on the up arrow so you'll see my screen and it says a drop down bar which tells you your webcam type, 
And then a couple of quick things you can do. I just go right into video settings. So here's my video settings. So it shows a picture of me. And then we talked about this, the original ratio and the HD. So let's say we want to change our background. You see I'm inside the library. We'll go down here and click on backgrounds and filters. And I have some downloaded pictures. So you can download as many as you want. They're virtual backgrounds. Um, if you watch my picture here, I'm going to go in outer space. Isn't that amazing? Actually, I'm going to go in the president's office next and do some work. <laughs> I uh, need it. That's uh, a... That's and you're always wondering who stole all the toilet paper when COVID started. I had all that. But you can also use logos. I showed you the Benavia logo earlier. Different organizations, like when I'm speaking for Rotary, I have the Rotary logo in the back or AARP in the back. So you can put whatever you want as your background and you can change it anytime you want during the meeting. So, and then once again, like I said, if you don't want anything, there's actually a picture of my office. Not very impressive. I have a bookcase behind me there, you know, a few things in there. So that's why I like to use a bit of a background so people can uh, um, take a look at stuff. Sometimes I like to be on the beach. So that's kind of fun too as well. And, and you can use, if you have a high powered system, like a, a, a PC on, that has a lot of bandwidth, you can actually get moving backgrounds. So the waves are moving, clouds are moving by. Um, virtually unlimited what you can do with your backgrounds in, uh, in Zoom, which is very nice. Uh, one of the things that I also wanted to talk about is uh, how you can get involved with people on the meeting with you. So that's called annotation. And let's say you wanna play games with your family or you wanna discuss uh, a certain project at work or something like that. You can share a white screen, which is very nice. And uh, I'm gonna throw that up real quick. There's a whiteboard. Now, anybody, I can go into the settings and you can as well, if you're the host of the meeting and you can give everybody capabilities of playing on this at the same time. So say I wanna draw something, you know, or I want to, somebody's got a picture up there and I want to put stamps on it says, this is good, that's good, and that's good. So you can do all kinds of different things. You can write text in a text bar. And everybody can do that together. So if you're working on a project, or like I said, we were uh, with family, we played bingo on a whiteboard. Um, we played tic-tac-toe, all kinds of things like that. And there's all kinds of different programs on the internet. If you just Google free bingo um, Zoom, you'll find all kinds of free programs which you can use on your computer or very simple. We have my little nephews and nieces from age four all the way up to me, age 98, that um, can play on these games and they're very intuitive. So these are kind Yay. of- Yes. Oh. We don't think our camera's working. On our computer. What do you see in? Well, we see you, but we don't see us. Well, that's okay because it took it took your uh, the uh, grid of everybody and just moved you out so you could see the whiteboard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, we've never been able to see us. Okay. Oh well, let's show you how to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to stop sharing my whiteboard, and can you see you now, or you just see me? Just you. Here. All right, you see a button in the upper corner called view. Yes. Click on that. Oh. And it says speaker view, gallery no. view, and full screen. Uh huh. Okay, if you click on gallery view, it shows everybody in the meeting. Go ahead and do that if you'd like. I did. But when. Can you see us? Sue Squires. I see. Squires. Yes, I see all 43 of you. Yep. We have never seen ourselves. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see yourselves. No. Um, you know what you can do is click on speaker view. And Where is? It's right above gallery view. If you go back to okay. that view button and click on speaker view. We did. Okay. When you talk, it should show your full face. 
No, it doesn't. It doesn't show our face when we talk at all. We just see that beautiful J face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it, just, it says um, that we can't, it is not finding our camera or something like that. Okay, that's what it is. Do you have a, a are you using a system camera or an, an outside camera? It's on our LP computer. Okay. So it's in there. So what you'll have to do is when you get off this meeting is go into your, your system, your operating system, either your PC or, or your iPad or what you have and click on your camera and make sure that it's available. So, oh, okay, thank you. Because it actually what's interesting is I'm on my home system right now, even though I'm working from home, I'm on the Benavia work system. I know that sounds kind of strange, but when I'm on Benavia, I can't use my camera because it does the same thing. It doesn't recognize my camera. So I can only do Zoom meetings on my home system. It's just a weird little glitch. But uh, when you were talking before, I noticed you just have a black screen. It says owner. Have you oh. stop video button at the bottom? This one here? Our screen's going blank. <laughs> Our screen is all black. Correct. That's because you're just showing when you're talking, you're just showing what everybody else sees. So you have to go down you need to, to talk. <laughs> you're talking now. You have to click on your video. So okay. start start video at the bottom left. Do we have to talk to activate the screen? No. <laughs> that still... just lets people know you're talking. That you'll get a yellow uh, surround bar on your face. So but that's the screen a keeps going black. Have trouble, yeah, because it's not picking up your camera. So that's no. all okay. you'll see. So if you want to see everybody's faces, once again, you have to go up to the view button and click on gallery view. I'll ask everybody, we talked about reactions before. Is everybody on the call right now on the gallery view? Show me a hands up. All we see is a black oh, screen. screen. Show me a thumbs up there in the corner. Click on your reactions. I can't see that. See your reaction button. See thumbs up. Dottie's got it. Roger's got it. Don's got it. Fantastic. Carol, I love it. Oh, look at that. They all jumped up. All right. So we got that one. That is good. That's perfect. I think Carol's got a question. Yes, We don't please. see anything, Jay. <laughs> Let's we can all, hear you, but we cannot see anything. It's all black. All you're seeing is your screen. That's why, because your camera is not on. It's not picking up your camera. Until you get your camera synced in with Zoom, you won't be able to see anything. So if you'd like, let me, let me make this offer to you. Um, after we get off the call, you guys are all free to give me a shout, and I will give you my uh, cell number if you got a pen and paper handy. Yes. My cell number is 623-734-734-54-38. Yes. And I will help you if you've got some issues that are individual to your system that say like all you've got is a black screen now because you can't see your, your camera's not linking into Zoom. Mm -hmm. If the best I can, I can't guarantee but I'll give you the best I can. How's that sound? Thank you. Well, yes. for a few minutes ago, up to a few minutes ago, we could see the participants and we could see you and now we can't see anything. Interesting. You keep flashing in. <laughs> the owner keeps flashing in, right? Because you got it on speaker view. So as long as oh. whatever is speaking, if you're on speaker view, we'll come on to the main screen, cover everybody, and then watch when I stop talking. The yellow surround on my picture will stop. Jay, I just have a question, if, if I can, yes. Um, since we're on the screen, I just wanted to play with it. Will you go down to your, where it says stop video, but the icon to the right of stop video, and that allows you to change your background? That, yeah. that allows you to go into the background settings? Yes. Right? So if I wanted to, uh, it says, okay, choose virtual background. Um, oh, but they don't offer, it says, I was looking for the different selections you could use. I was just trying to sample it to see what it would look like. Right. Well, I, I knew that question. That's actually when I was preparing for this meeting. For oh, the, okay. 
I knew that would come up. Once again, it's very important. There will be nothing there when you're looking at it now, unless you have Sounds downloaded fast. some backgrounds. So mm -hmm. you have to That's go nice. in, click on this button mm -hmm. here. See this little cross button that says add image? No, we're. Right now, if you, you see where I'm at in my backgrounds, and then to the upper right, there's an add image button. Right here? Yeah. You see that? Yeah, it says add image. You click on that, it'll take you into your system. So it's going into my computer now, and it wants to look for pictures. So I'm going to show you my desktop. Hopefully, there's nothing awful on there. Might be a little slow, but if I have any pictures on there, I can download those in. So let's see, see there's some logos I have and there's some pictures. So if I wanted to do like there's the library books, I would double click on that and, that, and then it would show up right here as one of my backgrounds. So you could go on the internet and download pictures into your computer. It's on your files, your computer files. And then by clicking on this button here, you can add an image from your computer. Does that all I'm make so sense? I'm sorry, Jay. I'm not seeing the button. Are you talking about this row? What this one on the right-hand corner of the screen? Are, are, can you see my uh, backgrounds right now? Yeah. yeah, I see the yes, and I see a box in the upper right-hand corner that's blue with three white dots. That's the only thing I see. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Let and me... it says chat or pin video. Let's do it this way then. Okay, give it a second to upload. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. You should be able to see my cursor now moving around the screen. Yes, yes uh, I do. So we'll click on that uh, video and then video settings. Okay, hold on, so video, um, it says video settings, okay. Okay, and you can just click on choose the background as well. It'll take you to the same place. All right. Right. Okay. okay. So these are all pictures that I have downloaded already. Okay. All right. So all you need to do is go to this bar, this little cross. See how oh, I yeah. scroll over? It says add image. There you go. Okay. I'm sorry. I see it. I thought I was live. I, that was my fault. I apologize. I wasn't live. You click on that. It says add image. Turns blue. You click on that and it takes you into your computer. So we're out of Zoom now on this screen and then i can scroll down on my computer and i know i have a few pictures here so let's say i want to put this office picture on there or this t-shirt picture i can do that so i double click on that and there it is and now it's my background and it saves it for me so you can do all the pictures you want kind of now, if you pay for the first level of Zoom, do they offer you certain backgrounds? I assume they probably do. No, actually yeah. backgrounds are free. So even if you run um, the, the free basic system, if you go into zoom.us again, their homepage, and you just type in the search bar backgrounds, they will give you a little section of free ones. So they, they even have that, or just Google free Zoom backgrounds. And it'll take okay. you there. Okay. So, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's a lot of fun. I got it. <laughs> Thank and you. And if you want to, well, we got Robert. You got a question. Robert Tarr, you have to unmute yourself. Uh, no, I have no question. Oh, you're okay? Okay. Oh, you just. Yeah, I'm okay. Just waving at me. Fantastic. Here's another fun thing you could do. I know we're getting mm -hmm. close to an hour. But um, if you're kind of working with friends and family, I don't recommend doing this at a business meeting. But these are all kinds of filters you can use. So, like, um, I can click on this one. <laughs> There's all kinds of fun things, and they got little Christmas. You want to see me look like an elf? See? So, when you scroll down, there's all kinds of different effects you can use. Oh. <laughs> Working with your grandchildren or something like that. So, um, but once again, highly recommend don't do that during a business meeting. <laughs> so, and if you look in the lower right hand corner here where it says studio effects, this is not part of Zoom yet, but they're working on it. It's kind of like Snapchat. You can add eyebrows or a beard and mustache to yourself. 
buy myself a beard. Um, and you can change your lip color. So if you're having a rough morning, you can virtually do uh -huh. <laughs> It's oh, no. kind of fun. So there's fun things <laughs> besides, you know, just holding it for, uh, for uh, business meetings. Um, I forget who had mentioned that they were having trouble with their screen, sometimes freezing. Um, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you see what popped up on mine. It says using a virtual background will decrease your video resolution to maintain bandwidth. So it just says that it takes a lot of uh, power in the background for um, Zoom to do this stuff. So that's terrific stuff. Uh, one other thing I want to show you real quick, your profile. Um, you know, when you have the black screen, I'll move this over. Like here's one right in the middle here. It says owner. <laughs> you want to change that. And like I put the Benavia logo in there. See when I scroll over the Benavia logo, I can change that. And once again, you can upload it, change the picture, upload whatever you want onto that picture, save it. And that'll be on there instead of just a black screen. So that's very nice. And then you can edit all your profile stuff. Um, this is when you've set up. So great and interesting stuff you can do. So I see we're at the 1030 mark. I apologize. I know this is a lot of information. Yeah. Um, we have plans of coming back with Zoom 2.0. So everybody, I recommend getting onto Zoom, do some practice Zooms. Um, if you've got the free system hooked up, the basic free, uh, just click on a meeting. So host a Zoom meeting and then invite a friend or two to join you as well. That way you'll get more accustomed to it. You can have some fun with it and you'll become more at ease with what you're doing. And you can use it for business meetings. Um, I know we have a lot of folks here from uh, the area agency on aging. I'm sure they use Zoom as much as we do at Benavia. Um, it's the way of the world. Um, we've got a ton of events coming up. I'll, I'll do a plug for Benavia real quick. We've got our calendar coming up for the year. Uh, my background's not going to allow it. But we have two or three different workshops coming up. Um, each month, so look for our Benavia website, www.benavia.org or .com, and go to events, and uh, you will see all kinds of great things. They run the gamut from being a caregiver, learning how to invest, finding the new normal during COVID and how you care for loved ones during COVID, um, stress management, working uh, with communication skills with those who have dementia, all kinds of wonderful education events. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, let's see if we can get everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm willing to stay on as long as possible. Um, I am here to help you. And I just want to thank you for joining Benavia and your support of what we do in the community. Just to let you know, I've been with Benavia four years now. I actually started as a volunteer and um, helping them with projects and helping them with their social media and their marketing. I became such a pest, they just decided to make me an employee. So, I love being there, but uh, go right ahead. Got a question? Uh, um, Jay, Bob Tarr. Yes, Robert. How do, I, how do I get rid of that hand in the upper left-hand corner? Well, that's an interesting anomaly because usually those go away on their own after 10 or 12 seconds. I would click on the reaction button down here on your bottom bar. Okay. Yes. Re-click on that hand and see if it goes away. Or raise your hand. Okay. You're raising your hand. <laughs> Jennifer gave me- No, a it doesn't go away. <laughs> it won't go away. So I, if you go into, see where the chat room is here, where it says participants, and you see your name? Yeah. I made it go away. Oh, oh, it's a full screen. Okay. Interesting. So don't Jay. be afraid to play with this. You can't break anything. Like I said, <laughs> views, um, you can go to the speaker view. So it shows if you want to see what somebody's house looks like while they're speaking, they will become full screen for you. you click on speaker view. So. Um, what other questions do we have out there? Jay, I have a question. This is Beverly. Jay, I have a question. 
Go ahead, Beverly. You were you were doing before you went to, to annotation, and then how did you get to the whiteboard after you did annotation? Okay, great, great question, Beverly. Green. There's, there's a share screen button. Do you see where that is? Can you share a screen? Yes. Okay, if you click on that, and then it'll have like my screen. I, can I see the whiteboard. I see the whiteboard. That's what you do. You click on that, it opens up. Okay, I see it. Thank you very much, Jay. Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you for that. Somebody's got a radio on it. Robert. Okay, any other questions, folks? I assume that when you're wanting to... Um, See, uh, minimize the screen or enlarge the screen when you're on the meeting. You just double click on your box on the, like if you're um, wanting to have the full screen yes. of yourself or the smaller screen, you just double click. Is that right? On, on the. Yep. Or if you want to look at your own screen in the background, you just minimize. Um, I can't do it because I'm the host, but you can minimize, click on your regular toolbar at the top right up here and you can minimize your screen. You could do other things, you can multitask and the meeting itself will be on the side. So you could watch it in a small box on the side oh. as well. Okay. So I, I do that a lot when I'm on long winded meetings, I'll, I'll multitask and do things at the same time. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. You folks are amazing. I wanna thank you for joining me today. Um, any other questions? Are you going to have this? This is Beverly again, Jay. Are you going to have this uh, stuff, uh, these these um, pages that you showed, are you going to have them on so that we can possibly print them out? Yes, I will. When this is all done, one of the nice things mm -hmm. I can do by having a paid um, Zoom account is I've recorded this entire meeting. So after I get off the meeting, it will download it to my own personal computer. And then I will put that up on the Benavia website. And I will also post it on Facebook. And then after we're all finished, and I'm so glad you said that, Beverly, when we're all finished here, probably by the end of the day, I'll be sending you folks a little questionnaire um, asking you how I did and what we can do better and what you think of Zoom in general via email, the email you sent us. So it will be on that as well. I will attach a link on that as well. And it'll also be on our YouTube channel. So it's all there. Thank you. And you know what I forgot to do? One other nice thing I'll do real quick is um, polls. You can do polls while you're on this. I was gonna do this ahead of time, but I figured everybody would knew what they're doing, but you can set up polls before you set up a meeting. So how much do you know about Zoom? I'm gonna launch that real quick for you. So you can oh. vote, you can vote on that. What do you think of that? Oh. We got people voting. We got six people in already. <laughs> so if you wanna to talk to your family and ask them how much, yeah. or you can play musical songs and do trivia with these polls. It's amazing the different things you can do. Jay, what was it you did to get at the multitask? Um, actually, as the host, I have oh. an icon at the bottom. It says polls. When you are setting up a meeting, even on free meetings, when you're setting it up, one of the account settings will be, do you want a poll? And you can answer yes. You set them up ahead of time. So when your meeting starts, the icon is at the bottom ready for, ready for you to use. Actually, I was going back to, you said you could set your screen up so you could multitask, that you could have the Zoom on one and maybe check your emails on the other, but I missed what you did to get that. You just minimize your screen and your, your regular um, screen, if you're on Microsoft or, you know, or Apple, up in the top here, can you see where I'm scrolling? 
that's actually my computer screen. So if I wasn't the host of the meeting, I could minimize everything and it would drop down. I could, unfortunately, I can't show you that because I'm the host. So. Is, okay. in that, is, that, is that in that top right corner? Where, top where right you have, corner, correct. You have enter full, full screen, but how do you minimize? If you scroll over that, let me end the polling here. Thanks everybody. Mm -hmm. for Here's a quick idea, what everybody knows about it. So 45% were comfortable, that's terrific. Some of you already have free accounts. Nobody has a paid account. So we're either very <laughs> it yet so that's amazing <laughs> there's the results with you you can take a look at that oh yeah most, we said limit most people said comfortable huh. as a participant another fun thing you well, can i guess i would come I, I voted for very little <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay we're I'm going to try to show you how to minimize um as the host I can't change many things like that. Um, but as I go and I'm in full screen now, if you come out of come out of full screen, view, exit full screen, okay, and you have a little blue bar at the top. Uh, no. Oh. No. Oh, exit full screen. Yes. That'll give you the opportunity to have it in the background, your, your regular computer screen in the background. Everything's still in the background, even though we're on Zoom. So you can scroll to the right, click on that, and it'll minimize the Zoom screen. You can always minimize the Zoom screen. <laughs> I don't know what it did. <laughs> don't, don't get scared. You, you never break anything on Zoom. All right. Any other questions out there? I know we've. I have a, qu I have a question I have, I have about a question. backgrounds. Yes, Dottie. Yeah. Um, do you have to be the one who set up the meeting to be able to access the free backgrounds? Not at all. Anybody can do it. So you just go to view settings. Is that correct? Yes. Video settings. Video settings. Okay. Okay. And then. Go straight up to choose virtual background if you want. Oh, okay. Or if you click on video settings, it'll take you to all video settings like I'm showing you and then click on backgrounds and filters. So that's two oh, steps okay. to get there. Oh, that's neat. And then oh, click on virtual backgrounds. And anybody can add on just by clicking that button, add an image. Oh, that's horrible, I know. We just I have a question. So oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Rachel. I had a quick question. I saw something earlier on in your presentation about how to integrate Zoom with Outlook. Outlook is an application that I use quite frequently. Yes. How does that work and what does that mean necessarily? I don't understand her. Okay. You mean you couldn't hear her question? This is a solid video background that's required. Green they said they couldn't understand. I'll repeat the question. Oh. Um, earlier in the account settings, mm -hmm. when you're, you're setting up a meeting, you can integrate the Zoom platform into your Outlook program. That is your usually your mail program. Uh, you can click on that. You can either use Google, you can use Outlook, or you can choose your own. It'll give you an opportunity if you're using some different platform. But that allows you to send invites from the meetings directly to anybody in your Outlook mailbox. So it's very simple. It'll walk you right through the system, Rachel. And um, so right on the screen, if you want to send people invites to the meeting, you can do that through Outlook. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jay. Any I have a question. Dottie's got a question. <laughs> yes. Uh, we we're talking about virtual backgrounds. So we, I went into the video. Hang on. Okay. Uh, choose virtual background. And then I started to choose one that was here. And when I click on it, it says a solid color video background is required. Green color is preferred. Yeah, it's just telling you that, do you see below that where it says, I have a green screen? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Any of these backgrounds work for the solid mm -hmm. time background? You saw, you saw my background. I'm going to go ahead and click on that again. So there's no background right here. You're back in my office. Obviously, I don't have a green screen in the background. But if I click on one of my backgrounds, it's, it's nice and clean. The only thing you'll see a difference is if you start moving, watch when I raise my hand. Oh, yeah. It's not very <laughs> clear. So if you had a green screen, it would be very clear. Where do you get a green screen? Um, you can set up a giant green tarp behind you, if you would like. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Green what? Tarp. Cool. Tarp. T A R P. Carp? There's a black back. There's a, oh, there's a background of just a wall work. Coat. And you have to have a green screen. No, just, like I said, here's my background and it works very well. Oh. See, I, here's my office right now. Huh. And it works very well just with that. Well, it didn't work for me. Yeah, I wonder. It kind of depends on your system. It's something you need to play with a little bit. And another, a lot of times, no, load these it. backgrounds. If you, like when you leave this meeting uh, and you come yeah. back to your next meeting, it will have updated. A lot of times, the little glitches go away after you've left a meeting. My device, there it goes. My device does uh, Jay, I'm just curious if they had free uh, backgrounds, which I believe you said they do, they have certain ones you can upload that are free yes. if you're. So uh, this is where I kind of get confused, at least from what I'm seeing. I know that I'm in the choose virtual background. I can add, I know from my computer and so forth pictures, but how do I add the ones that are apparently free for the Maybe we can't do it. meetings? You have, that's when you're setting up your meeting or setting up your personal account. When you have okay. your personal account, you can go in and find backgrounds. They have, it's a different part of the Zoom um, website and they have them and they're not all that wonderful. So, you know. Is that something you could walk us through? Um, I would have to get out of yeah. the meeting yeah. to do that. So, so that's what click on, I have a green. I, I, well, that doesn't. But I, I recommend going into Zoom no, if you on. want. Yeah. setting up your account and then just going into the search bar and search backgrounds and it'll take you right there it's very intuitive okay but All I, right. between you and i the backgrounds you find on the computer are much more exciting and uh different and i like to put my own personal pictures on there as well you can take pictures out of your own computer that you have That's seen too bad. Yeah. Yeah. okay okay i'll try it i'll play with it Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Okay. I need uh, to go now. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to. I've got to go now. Want to so, go? There's a I've got to leave. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye bye. I have a question. Uh, under virtual backgrounds, I'm back out there. Hmm? Um, I have a little thing that comes up and says, your device does not support virtual backgrounds. What type of device are you using? I am using a HP laptop. Okay, is it an older laptop? Uh, it's less than five years old. Less than five years. It may not have the bandwidth. I can't tell you 100% positive that it won't support backgrounds. And this may be one of the things that once you're out, to, out of this meeting and you go back in and let's say you want to set up a free account, it, it's one of those glitches that will take care of themselves. Oh, a lot of oh, times okay. during a meeting, it won't do it just because there's okay. so much going on. Is there a way to check bandwidth? Um, yes, that's a fantastic question. <laughs> I, I've never been asked that. <laughs> but that's something you check on your own computer in, in your... Uh, your programs, and it'll tell you your operating in your operating system what you have. So that's a terrific question. You should get a gold star for that. <laughs> yay, yay. I will have that answer for the next uh, the next Zoom training. Okay. Awesome. All right. Anything else? I have a question. Certainly. Can you hear, can you hear me? Yes. 
Um, the, the woman that said, I have to leave. Is there etiquette? Do you have to announce when you're leaving or can you just leave? Is that rude? It, it's not rude. Um, actually, you can leave at any time and come back by clicking on the same link. Um, you notice when we started the meeting, we had 50 people on the meeting. Right now, there's only 17 left. So oh. no, everybody left. They just disappear off the screen and everybody kind of moves over in the queue. So there's no real, I don't, I don't think there's any etiquette. Um, okay. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Everybody get <laughs> so thank you again for joining me. Once thank again, you. Like this, you've got my cell number. Give me a shout yeah. afterwards. If you need some help, I'll do the best I can to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. And uh, just uh, thank you for your support of Benavia. Have a wonderful week. Okay. Thank you. 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 Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah.